Look at the starting lineups. And they've made two changes from the side that beat Cameroon. It's Gernot Rohr making some little adjustments when it comes to the formation, or excuse me, to the lineup. Akpeyi in goal. The one change is Jamilu Collins in for Ola Aina. Didian Etebo in the midfield. Chukweze is in for Moses Simon. Ahmed Musa is the captain. And of course, Odien Igalo been stealing all the headlines with his play for the Super Eagles. And a 4-2-3-1 of Gernot Rohr. Senegal, it's allowed for offside, but they still manage to get past Benin. As for South Africa, this is the same starting 11 that defeated Egypt. Ronald Williams in goal. Akwanaji and Guachuayo in the middle. Zungu, Mokodjo, and Dean Furman in the midfield. Percy Tau, Lebo Motiba, and the man who scored the game winner, Dambinkosi Lark. Lorch, excuse me. There by Moussa. Moussa to it will be will be trying to get the ball and crosses a chance for Nigeria. It's in the back of the net. Nigeria scored. Nigeria found the back of the net there. Chukwese. Chukwese. The Villarreal man. Just 20 years of age. And perseverance is the key. He only made his debut back in November 2018 against Uganda. Here he is now scoring a vital goal for Nigeria, the Super Eagles take the lead against South Africa. And we're, what, 28 minutes in through this quarter-final. Samuel Chukwese, look at that. 20 years of age. Let's have a look at this again. Moose picks the ball up on the left-hand side. Uh, it will be there. Gets past two players down towards the other byline. Second bite of the apple. It takes a deflection. He's a little bit fortunate there, isn't he? As the ball comes back off Mkwanazi. He will be doing really well to uh, work really hard and get the ball back there. But uh, he just, he was uh, possessed, wasn't he? And a fine slick finish for the 20 year old as Nigeria take the lead against Bafana, Bafana. And remember, so we need to make sure that there's no uh, naughtiness taking place in the penalty box. Is uh, how's uh, effort? There's a chance. There's a good opportunity. It's in the back of the net. They scored the goal. I think he's going to be awarded as well. Oh no! What's happened here? The flag's gone up. Offside. Offside for South Africa. What's Mr. Jayed going to say about this? The linesman flag came up. Let's have a look. Well, there's players offside. Of course, they're offside. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Decision is offside. <laughs> you want to go to a... Well, they'll probably go to a bar, but you don't look. It comes off the Nigerian. So this could be given, in fact, because... It's going to be awarded, Mr. Jihad. I'm sure that it's going to be awarded because he was in an onside position. If he was in an onside position when the ball was, was was kicked, then that's absolutely fine. I told you so. I told you so. They've got the goal. South Africa have got the goal. It came off the back of the Nigerian defender. And there's nothing to say about it. You can't complain. He was onside. When the free kick was taken, he was onside. But intentionally, as you can see from the replay there. Side into the penalty box. It goes! It's a goal for Nigeria! They've got a goal! Oh, my word! They found the back of the net! Igor of Udinese gets on the end of it. And the corner, well, it wasn't difficult, really. Just needed to make contact. And it wasn't well read by the South African defence. And, of course, all of South Africa just can't believe what's happening here. Pure disappointment. It's heartbreaking. It really is. But Nigeria are jumping for joy. And they can't believe it. Their centre-back from Udinese, the Giants, have come in and just got on the end of it. I don't even know what part of his body he managed to... Used to get the ball in, but it doesn't really matter. I think it was his chest. Let's have a look at this for him once again. Oh, he did use his leg, of course, but um, 
there it is off the uh, off the ankle and how easy was that it wasn't well read look at the two defenders at back and we call Azi. and i think it was firm and they're just saying what happened there what happened there well they can only blame themselves they did all of the hard work to get themselves